The Zambia Women National Netball Team defied all odds to win the Maiden African Netball Cup held in Haboron, Botswana between 28th November and 6th December 2023. The Copper Queens, who were the first to arrive in Botswana four days before the tournament, were determined from the beginning. They brushed aside Eswatini in the first game 63-47. went on to beat Namibia 52-42 in the second game, beat the host Botswana 53-43 in the third game, before narrowly losing to Zimbabwe by 51 goes to 50 in the fourth game. The fifth encounter against Kenya was a do-or-die affair, and the Copper Queens did not disappoint as they won the game by 42 goals to 38 to earn a spot in the final as table toppers with eight points. In the final, it was the battle against second place Namibia. It was a thrilling final which ended 43-43 at full time before going to two quarters of extra time and the teams were still tied. The game now went into sudden death where Zambia managed to score two quick goals to win by 57 goals to 55. It was all joy at the UB Indo Sports Arena as Zambia made history by winning the African Trophy for the first time. Zambia's High Commissioner to Botswana, Pamela Chisanga, and African Union Sports Council Region 5 Programs Manager, Sombwa Musunsa, were among the Zambians that witnessed this historic feat. On top of the main trophy, Zambian captain Beauty Nakas was voted as the best shooter of the tournament, while Elizabeth Walia emerged as the best mid-court player. Uh, yes, I'm the uh, best shooter of the tournament and I feel honored. I'm very grateful. I thought I played my level best. Probably that's why the award best mid-court and I thank God for that. I thank the team. Without, without my teammates, I wouldn't have gotten that award. It was like a chain. They helped me get the award. Lazarus Tembo, who is the youngest netball national team coach at the age of 27, is excited with the team's achievement. It means a lot. And I think words will not be enough to describe the, the, the feeling that I have now. So, because I'm, I'm the, I was actually the youngest coach that's at uh, this tournament. And back home, I'm the youngest coach to ever coach the senior national team. And you know, I only took, took over f f this year in March. And uh, already we've had two major tournaments and the results have been very fruitful. So I think uh, going forward we'll continue uh, building the team and, and make sure that we always have a team. Well, whenever there is a call-up, I think it's always important for us to have a strong team that's going to represent the country well. The team arrived back home on a chartered ZAF plane on Thursday, December 7, 2023 and was treated to a thunderous welcome at ZAF Lusaka Airport. Zambia Sports Fans Association patron Pastor Peter Makembo and his brass band were at hand to receive the victorious team. Also present at the airport was National Sports Council of Zambia Acting General Secretary Rafael Mlenga. The team was then taken to the Ministry of Youth, Sport and Arts to meet Permanent Secretary Kangwachileshe, who assured that the team would be rewarded for the achievement. You have made history today, and as a ministry, you must understand that we have a competition of resources by various sports associations and federations, which include football, volleyball, handball, netball. But when you distinguish yourselves, eh? there's a time when you make certain achievements and you don't have to ask people to do things. Just your achievement creates a demand where government, corporate leaders have to inject finances in what you have done. Hard work, focus, discipline and determination have finally paid off for the Copper Queens who have been trying in the past to win the continental title but could only manage a silver medal in 2014. More than Sinkalazade NBC Sport, Lusaka.